If you're looking to build your team, make sure you head on over to CheapMaddenCoins.com for the cheapest prices, fast delivery, and 24-hour customer support. And make sure to use Code Wolf for 10% off. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. Now, if you watched my previous video, I showed you guys some pretty dope blitzes out of the 4-4 formation. And in this video, I'm going to talk about some lockdown pass coverage that you can use if you don't want to send a lot of pressure against your opponent. Now, we are in the Baltimore Ravens playbook. And before we get into this, man, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Also, create your own playlist on your own channel if you want to categorize the plays that I show you. Because, you know, my channel, I'm always going in and out of different playbooks, showing you uh, good money plays, some defenses and stuff like that. So if you're rocking one of the playbooks I'm talking about, you just add my video to your playlist that way you keep your own stuff organized for me it's just difficult you know what i'm saying so i really can't really can't do it because then my channel would be a complete mess because i'm always in and out of all these different playbooks okay so the blitz i showed you guys previously was going to be the monster green and how to set up a blitz out of the cover two invert today i'm going to show you guys defense uh, uh pretty much pass coverage defense and we're going to start off with the cover two invert this is a defense that we've been using since I mean, forever. I think I would run it in Madden 15 as well. Okay, but this is pretty much for uh, some lockdown coverage if you want to use it. And let's just go ahead and go over like PA crossers. Okay, so a base setup for this for this defense right here that you can use. And this is what I recommend you guys do all the time. I don't know if you do this or, or not, but I always baseline no matter what I do. And the reasoning behind me baselining is I know what my defense is doing all the time. So if my opponent is hitting me somewhere uh, in a weak spot, I know what adjustment I need to make because I'm baselining. I'm, I'm setting my own default defense that I know I know what they're doing every single time they snap the ball. So if my man hits me, you know, with a fade route in between the weak spots of the zone defense, like right here, a fade route right there in the weak spots could actually destroy this defense right so i'm paying attention to that by baselining that's giving me a baseline reading of what my defense is actually doing so that's what i do i baseline that puts everybody in their default positions next thing you want to do uh you want to set up your defensive line to do whatever you want so if you're facing someone who has a mobile qb you're going to take one of these guys and put them on a qb spy it doesn't matter who it is i recommend uh you take one of these guys on the inside and put them on a qb spy Okay, that's what I recommend. So we're going to baseline. We're going to take a guy in a QB spy. Now, before you QB spy him, you got to know what you're going to do with your defensive line. So what you do first is you slant them inside or spread them, however you want to do it. Uh, but just once you crash them inside, and the reason I say crash inside is because it, you have a more effective pass rush whenever you crash inside, if that makes any sense to you guys. And then I put someone on a QB spy. So this guy would be on the QB spy. Next thing I do is I'm going to take Weddle. I'm going to bring him down and put him on a blue. Press A on him or X and then uh, left stick up for middle third. And then I'm going to bring him down into the box. These guys right here, I'll just bring down. If there's nobody on that right side, I'll bring Smith down. Uh, this guy over here, I'll bring him down. And then if I know it's a passing situation, I'm going to take these guys and I'm going to push them out further. I'm going to push them out further in cover two invert. Okay, That's because I know he's going to pass the ball or you know he's he pass heavy. Uh, if he's running the ball, then you want to spread your D-line, and, and I'll, I'll go over it here next. But this is going to be the base base setup. Now, where are you weak at? You're weak in the hard flats. So if you want to take those away, wi uh, wire triangle, right stick down, take away hard flats, that will cover the running back going out on a flat. If he's going on a flat, any drags that are coming over the, uh, over the field, and then all you really have to worry about is uh, the crosser. So if your opponent's running a lot of crossers, you just you want to make sure you're covering the crossing route, right? And everything else is pretty much locked up. Now, you only have a three-man rush, so it takes a little bit longer uh, for your pass rush to get there. But if you're facing someone like Drew Brees, you really don't need a QB spy. So we'll base line, pinch, slant inside just like that. We'll take Weddle, bring him down, put him on our blue. Uh, we can spread this guy out. We want to spread our linebackers out. Now, you could press RB left stick up for spreading your linebackers, but they don't go far enough. And whenever you're facing someone who's running like a wide set, they're going to get to the flats faster than you are. So you got to give your, your people a head start. So this would be a good default setup against someone who's not uh, using a mobile QB. Now, if they're one of those check down players where you're playing someone that's consistently hitting you in the flats, take it away by playing hard flats. And then what you want to do is you just want to cover the crossing routes coming over the middle of the field. So right here, we already know PA crossers. You're going to watch that B route. You know what I'm saying? And with a four-man pass rush, he won't have as much time as a three-man pass rush, if that makes sense to you guys. Now, other things that you can do with this right here is you can baseline 
pinch, slant inside, right? You could take this guy, put him on a blue, and then take this guy right here and then man him up to somebody. So let's man him up to a what? X, like that, okay? And it will bring him to the middle. And the reason I tell you to bring him to the middle is because when, the, when your opponent snaps the ball, he's going to scrape this whole side of the field before he mans up anybody, right? So he's going to be in the way of everything if he starts in the middle, as opposed to starting him over here, and then in between me and him is a bunch of empty space. But we put him in the middle. If you're going to man him up, start him in the middle. That's one of my recommendations to you guys. Uh, and then use your this side, play hard flats if you want. You can man that guy up. Alternatively, you could take this guy, right, put him on a middle third, and then uh, man up Weddle because he's a little bit faster. You know what I'm saying? So you could do that as well. So now you have the same look. You have hard flats out there, and you got someone manned up with a four-man rush. And this is decent. This is a decent look right here. And you'll see the pass rush getting there. And my controller just fell on the floor. So you guys see what you can do right there uh, in this cover two invert. Um, not a lot of other things I would recommend if your opponent's running the ball a lot. Then you baseline, spread the D-line, slant them down, spread your linebackers, and then just keep these guys like out this way and then bring Weddle down. Now, when they're going to run the ball, like say, how can I bring this up right here? Inside zone. Whenever he snaps the ball and you think it's run, you have to click that right stick in. So as we snap the ball, we click the right stick in. That way everybody initiates their block shedding. You know what I mean? It's, a, it's like a glitchy thing in the game. Watch this, what I'm talking about, okay? For those that haven't seen this yet, clicking the right stick in on a run activates run fits and block, uh, run fits and block sheds. So let's say Weddle is on a blue, okay? Without me clicking the right stick in, you're going to watch Weddle. Watch him on this inside zone. He's going to backtrack. You see how far he's going back there? We don't want that. Now, he's just our reference point, and we're talking about everybody backing up into the zones, which helps your opponent gain yards. Now, let's take Weddle, put him on a blue, okay? And then we'll go to an inside zone. Now, when you click the right stick in, once you notice that it's a run, watch Weddle, what he does. Snap the ball, click the right stick in. Weddle doesn't even back up. He comes straight down into the fits. He comes right for the running back. And everybody else does too. So you have good run defense with this play if someone's running out of the shotgun formation. Uh, like I said, we could put Weddle in the blue, but as long as it's a run, we're going to click that right stick in, and that's going to help us stop him in the backfield. Now, my controller has controller drift, so it's not really fair you know, the running back stopping and stuff like that. But I'm just trying to show you guys the significance of clicking the right stick in. I can't preach this enough to you guys. Uh, it just helps greatly with the run. So if you're having trouble stopping the run, you need to start clicking that right stick in. Another defense you can use is the cover three. A lot of people like to use this one, especially in the red zone. Um, in cover three defense, the way I set it up, depending on the quarterback, is baselining playing clouds i'll play cover three with cloud flats i will not play it with hard flats i'll use the cover two invert with the hard flats but you can do this you can still run hard flats it's just me and my preference so i'm going to baseline change the coverage to cloud flats right and then i'm going to pinch my line slant them inside and then i'll bring weddle down again just like this and if this this guy's over here by himself for no reason i'm going to bring him in closer you know what i'm saying uh just like that so this is a good base setup for you guys to use with with this defense and then all we got to do is cover the crossing routes and then hope that the four man gets there. Now, you see those guys to the left doing nothing? You can click the right stick in. Let me show you what I mean. Base line. This is like you got to learn how to utilize that stuff. Watch this if, if we have time. He's going to do this. I see the receivers. Nobody's over there. I'm clicking the right stick in. Now I got people coming in that are not being used in the play anymore. You know what I'm saying? That guy's not being used no more. So I'm clicking the right stick in on purpose. Show you guys again. Pay attention to this guy, okay? Pay attention. If we have time and, and this guy has time in the pocket, watch out. He's not important in this play no more. I click the right stick in. And now it's 55 coming in. But either or, I'm sending more people in automatically. Now, another way you can set up this defense against uh, you base line, put some cloud flats up there, take someone right on this line and put him in a QB spy for facing a mobile QB. The next thing I like to do is I like to take Weddle and I'll man him up to like car. And they put this guy on a blue. So he starts down here on a blue. Then I have someone manned up just like that. And it's kind of like the cover two invert version of this play. Uh, you could take your blues out here and then you could put them on outside thirds if you want. So you don't get beat with cover three beaters. You know, you could do that as well. Bring this guy in on trip set. If it's like doubles or something like that, I don't recommend you guys doing that. You can even do it. Nah, I wouldn't even recommend it on bunch either. Just leave them where they're at, you know, in bunch. Uh, and you can press if you want. If you think you can do it, press. But if not, I, I wouldn't. Because right here, I would just throw a fade to Smith. 
but I would make sure I have my fastest wide receiver on the outside if I see that my opponent's consistently doing that because I will challenge that type of uh, uh, defense. So we snap the ball, boom, again. Click the right stick in because nobody's being used. It's close to the quarterback, and, and that's how I play it. You know what I'm saying? I will send in the QB spy uh, if my opponent – if he doesn't have – well, actually, I'm not going to be using a QB spy against someone that doesn't have a fast quarterback, but I will consistently if they do. Especially in the red zone, it's QB spies all day. So there it is, man. Two plays that you can use with some setups uh, that you can use just to provide you some good pass coverage. Now, me, I am rush heavy, so I'm constantly sending blitzes, constantly blitzing people. That's why I win a lot of games. I'm blitzing at least 75% of the time, bro. So there it is, man. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And I'll check you guys on the next one, man. Peace.